all right so what is going on today youtube i don't wanted to talk about these new cars that were released um because i really just want to commend konami man they they did justice they did justice this is what i wanted from konami when they uh i mean when, when i got used to links i mean when i when they initially announced links I, I really really hated them i slightly hate them a little less like if the meter was like up here i'm like probably right there i, I still don't like links in general but i'm cool with them I, you know they, they're they're pretty decent all right but as a matter of fact it's probably like right there they really don't bother me and you know it kind of makes you know the game a little slower uh, as in like you know if you're going against certain decks who can't spam out monsters they can't bring out too many links they also you know lock themselves to one extra deck but then you got those decks such as spirals or such as like level eater with a level six, a level eight and you could just spam out shit but anyways we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about these six brand new beautiful cards that konami has made and released or not released yet but have announced or been leaked i don't know what happened with this but yeah man uh so pretty much my whole thing on this is konami great job i, I applaud you man thank you for giving us generic links that literally every deck can possibly use i wouldn't say every deck can use they can definitely pop except for the gladiator beast card this is the only one you know only gladiator beast can use but everything else is pretty much accessible in a whole bunch of other decks and i definitely want to talk about this card last because i really like this card anyway so let's talk about the burning abyss card this only requires two monsters and let's go ahead and lower that down so it gave everybody everybody can see the effect hold on all right so yeah uh anyways with the burning abyss all you need is two level three monsters any monster that this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects and then if this card would be destroyed you can send a card uh you control to the graveyard instead and then also for his effect you could send one level three monster from your deck to the graveyard target a burning abyss and it gains the attack and defense equal to the monster uh sent so off tops this card is very very decent i i don't think it's broken for burning abyss it allows them to be able to be played so that's i guess good even though i hate burning abyss uh i, I really just i this just, just oh my god it's awful to go against burning abyss because they always mill graph they always mill fucking seer you know and it's just oh come on man it's just i don't even want to think about that but uh not only is this is not the only deck that you know this card can be played in you can play this in speed roids you can play it in crystons if you really wanted to um you can play it in uh light swarms you can play it in anything with level threes because it's like i said it's generic it's a two it, it, it works better in the arch type but other decks can also use it so i, I really like this card it, it, it just feel like it's really decent the fact that it can send uh it can protect itself by sending any card you control to the game but it's just really good and anything it points to is also you know it's protected by uh, from card effects which is this is really good i really like black angels it's very decent and then the fact that you could target itself to use its effect uh, icing on the cake so on to the cleave for genius and that's exactly what this card is a very genius card because it's unaffected this link summon card do not forget that the link summon card this link summon card is unaffected by spell trap effects and also activated effect of other link monsters which is ridiculous that is a very um powerful i mean powerful effect but you gotta remember it also is protected from your link monster so you i mean your spell and trap your link monster also so you can't just pump this card up to like six million and pretty much have an un unaffected uh cleave for genies even though it's still affected by monster effects but anyways uh once per turn you can target one other face-up card you control and one face-up card your opponent controls and then both cards have their effects negated until the end of this turn and then when two monsters are special summoned to the zones this card points to at the same time you can add a level five or higher machine which is just really good so let's we're going to do a quick thing real quick let's let's see if we can hurry this up we're going to go to a level five we're going to preface uh what's the name we're going to preface uh, uh i don't know why i can't say that uh creator um we're going to preface machines and they're going to be level uh, effects so we're going to see level five uh six seven and eight right six seven eight let's let's just do that in nine um, let me see that how it works. Okay. No, it's not how it works. All right. Let's just put five and let's see what happens All right, see these are all five so you can literally add in you can add dark destroyer it all All, all it requires is two level fives. You can add Christian Sofner So you can also play them Christian because they're all machines you can oh my god I forgot about that you can add galaxy soldier. Oh my god. This card is busted. You can add a spell counselor 
and it's it's like I said, you can just go to this with two machines, spell and then in phase scapegoat and get this effect. And I I don't believe it's is it once it's not even once per turn. So it's literally whenever you special summon two or more, you can continue to keep adding level five or higher, which is just really good. That, that like I said, man, I really feel like this card right here is definitely going to when it does get released, you're going to see some type of you know a, a, a spam link spam deck that just focuses on bringing out cleave for a genius and just spamming monsters and searching level five and higher like i said you can search you can search uh what's the name every uh you can search every cosmo you can search uh cyber dragons you can search spell counselor uh that's not even including what's like a level six in you like well let's see what's level six what's good that we can just see off top you can search a jinzo uh let me see what else can you search you can search the bes's like this card is just really, really good. I don't think a lot of people, you can search the FAs. I forgot all about that. Um, you can also search Scout. You know, you can you know, you know, can go from there, go Scout, get something else. You can search Mechanical Cloud. There's a whole bunch of things you can do. You can search Mechanical Fortress. This card is just really fucking good. And it's not once per turn, which I've seen is going to be a problem because people are going to watch you. You're going to see it. I guarantee you, you're going to see people break this card. And, and that, that's what I definitely see happening and on to the gladiator beast which should have came out probably a year ago when they got their other support and it should have been infusion because this card right here is perfect for gladiator beast so if you guys don't know if you guys can't read it, if you don't feel like reading say hey man read it to me all right here we go two gladiator beast monsters all you need for this any two gladiator beast doesn't need a best yard doesn't need laquari doesn't need a hot promise doesn't need any of that just two gladiator beasts and then if your gladiator beast monster attacks it cannot be destroyed by that battle also your opponent cannot activate cards in effect to the end of the damage step which gladiator beast needed so bad if you ever played gladiator beast you know exactly what i'm talking about the fact that you can just take any monster and attack can't be destroyed by battle and your opponent basically can't activate anything and nothing can be activated so you can attack over you know attack over a dd warrior lady that somebody still plays you can run over their sagging and they don't get their effect. You can run over their cosmos, they don't get their effect. You can just run straight into a high attack monster, don't die and get your effect off, which is good. And then at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you turn into the extra deck, spell summon two gladiator beast monsters with different names from your deck. How good is that? This should have been a fusion. This should have came out a long time ago. I don't know what Konami is waiting on, but once again, I commend Konami. They, they're bringing the links and they're bringing good effects and it makes every, you know, like now, you're going to get people buying up GB stuff. You're going to get people, you know what, I, I can play GBs. Let me figure out a way. Test Tiger with a Prisma. Bam, you can drop this card. Not only uh, does it not only does it protect itself pretty much when you attack, it also tags out, which is just amazing. On to the Light Swarm card, which I feel somebody's going to break um, if they have not breaking, broken it already by the time this video came out. It is, uh, let me see, let me let me go ahead and get rid of all this stuff over here. Um, yeah, so it is called, I mean, we don't care about the name, but his uh, requirements are three monsters with the same attribute, but di same attribute, but different types. As this face up card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, while the, its owner controls it, you can target one card you graveyard as it to your hand. So let's talk about that first effect because I damn sure did not know this card said that. And uh, you guys, if you guys watched Tuesday's video, and if you haven't already, go check that video out. It was a crazy duel. This card triggers when you banish it, when you like, when you Zeta it, if you uh, compose it, it doesn't matter basically how it leaves the field, it's going to trigger, which is good because it requires a bunch. But once again, you could, you could use this in other decks. And it's also good in other decks because um, his effect is not like requiring lights warrants. It's just, it's just dealing with cards, which I feel like somebody's going to break, like I've already said, because when it leaves, you can get a card from your graveyard to your hand and then when it's summoned you can send any card from your deck to the graveyard not monster not spells not traps any card and then if a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard you can send the top three from your deck to the graveyard so like i like i said about the burning abyss it is great for the archetype which is light swords but it's still good in other decks and light swords this is easily mill four that's pretty much what this is mill four and you get to pick a card that you get to mill how busted is that the requirements are a little a little hard but <clears throat> i'm pretty sure you guys already seen the uh predator the, all you need is predator plant scorpio and what's the name all you need is predator plant scorpio and uh <clears throat> predator, a predator plant scorpio 
uh, and a monster. I mean, uh, well, no, not Scorpio. Yeah, it is Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio, yeah. I think, see, yeah, it's Scorpio. That's all you need. A Lone Fire Blossom or a Predator Prime Scorpio, and you can bring this out because Mrs. Radiant is a level two, and uh, what's the name is going to be a level three. I mean, uh, it's, 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 that's basically Link Three because Mrs. Radiant Link Two, and the other mon the other monster is a Link Three. I mean, uh, it's, it counts as. You guys know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know why I can't say. It. I keep talking about links, but yeah, man, this card is very, very good and it's very easy to drop. And the fact that it points to the bottom left, right, or all of them do, is just perfect. On to the Heretic card that is pre pretty much four dragons, but you can use it for Heretics. Uh, once it requires it requires two dragons. Um, once once per opponent's turn, if this card is in your extra monster zone quick effect you contribute one monster from your hand or field return a face up card on the field to the hand and then if this card is tributed special summon a dragon type a dragon monster from your hand or deck but its attack become in defense becomes zero and you can only use this effect once per turn um <clears throat> this card is very good i'm just going to say that for dragons very very good you can get out you play chaos dragon you get out light pulsar if you're playing dragoonities you can get out that uh, leviathan if you're playing felgram you can get out one of their felgrams it doesn't say the effects are negated. It just says the attack is at zero and the defense is at zero. So you can get out one of them. You can get out an arc blade dragon and banish all face up spells and traps. You can get out a blue eyes. You can get out any dragon monster. And that's what's really good. It doesn't specify the level. It doesn't specify, uh, you know, pretty much if you can use the effect or not. It literally just says special summon a dragon monster, which is good. And the fact that this card can, it literally basically says, you turn one face up card on your opponent's side of the field, special summon a dragon. That's pretty much what that pretty much says. And <clears throat> pretty much, and then since it's a hieratic, you can tribute over this and special summon Sue and trigger his her this person the sphere's effect, which is amazing. Like I said, it's better in the art. It's gr it's great in the archetype, but it's still good everywhere else. I'm even playing this in my chaos dragons. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Also, I tried to get it off. And then the last card I want to talk about today is the card which I'm so excited for, which I just, I, I'm like, Konami, you, you like, you took, like, what everybody was, like, I don't know, like, you went in everybody's brain and said, all right, let me go ahead and throw you off something for you synchro players. Man, this card is good. Anyways, <clears throat> the Christian Hal, Hal, Hal Fiber, uh, I guess, uh, two monsters including at least one tuner. That's not hard. That's easy. That's Sage. You Sage, you can get this off. If this card is linked summon, you can special summon one level three or lower tuner from your hand or or deck in defense position, but you can't activate the effect. It doesn't say the effects are negated, you just cannot activate them that turn. So when you get a Christian out, you can just basically go to it next turn. But um, not only is bringing out another level three is just good, um, you can literally just go into a net wait, hold on, time out. Yeah, you can literally just go into another one of this. And then you can now, now I, I don't know if it's still like tart. I mean, I don't know if it's still, you know, equipped by this effect, but if you go into like another Hala Fiber, I don't know if like, um, <clears throat> basically you can't still use the tuner. You, you, you guys get what I'm saying. I don't know. We're going to have to wait for that, but uh, it probably can. I don't know. And then um, also during your opponent's main phase, the battle phase, you can banish this card you control, special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. And it's treated as a synchro summon. I don't even have to tell you guys what this means, right? That means you can bring out, let's see, synchro, and it's also synchro tuner. Let's see what we got here. Livestream Dragon is probably going to be everybody's first pick. Uh, when this card is synchro summon, you can gain, you can make your life points 4,000. So now, uh, if you're at low, bring this motherfucker out, bam. And then you take no effect damage. So that means you play against Trick Stars, you can bring this out. That's cool. And if this faced up card would be destroyed, you can banish a, uh, what's the name? Oh, if, yeah, no, no, okay. I, I thought I said if a. But no, it said if this faced up card on a field would be destroyed, you can banish the equipment. But you're never going to probably get that effect off. But <clears throat> the fact that you have a 2900 beater uh, for no reason is, <laughs> is just busted. Coral Dragon, you can also bring that out. I'm pretty sure you can, you can bring this out. You can activate this, you can skip the draw phase, and then also draw a card, and if you special summon it, then you can attack directly, which is which is just good. And it, once again, it's a tuner. Uh, you can go on a TG Wonder Magician, you can pop a spell and trap, you can go to a Cell Synchron, can't go into Dinglon, you can go into this. Um, you can also go into a Christian Quandrax, which you can synchro to with also. You can go into the 10 musical thing that can target a tuner, which specifically works with this, and bring it back. 
which is just busted. Uh, you can go into whatever this is. <laughs> you can go into formula and draw a card and you can go into this card right here when you can special summon up to four level two non-tuner mon four level two non-tuner monsters but their effects are negated and also you cannot special summon from your extra deck for the rest of this turn except synchro monsters so you can do a bunch of cards you can do a bunch of things with this card i just really like it the fact that you can just special summon a level three or lower tuner it opens up the floodgates you can bring out so many other cards and it's crazy you can bring out red resonator gain 1500 and then like you can just keep going after that and you can just do more and more stuff this card right here i feel you're going to start seeing combo videos about this deck but all in all man i really like the new support i once again at, at the end of this you guys didn't listen to me i commend konami man they really made these cards what they're supposed to be good generic links uh that can be used in any deck but also they're great in their arch type but can be used in many decks and that's all i've been asking for because proxy dragon is not doing it no more we need something we can go into uh with zombies we no, not not just specifically us but you know we need something we can just generically go into this all it needs is a tuner so you can go food and bring this mug out then you can just link that off you can literally go into a link forward with just just go food you just go for a link four with this it's just two dragon monsters so generic dragon support with this it's just if you have a deck that all the same attribute but they got different types bam now you got a new card out uh glad Dirty beast got the best this is probably their best fusion now even though it's not a fusion uh clear forth this is machine support from everywhere which is not once per turn and they did not learn their lesson with Firewall Dragon. And then this Burning Abyss, which once again is great for Burning Abyss, but any level three can use it. Uh, and it, it, it's just good. But yeah, man, that's it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, let me know you guys' thoughts on the new cards. What is your favorite one? What do you think is going to happen? Do you have any combos that you came up with already? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to support the channel, all I ask is for you guys to click and add. That would be enough for me uh, as of right now. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. So that's it.